The award is named for Ida Rosenthal, generally credited with the invention of the modern brassiere. Ida Rosenthal emigrated to America at age 18 from Minsk, Belarus. She founded the Maiden Form Dress Shop in Bayonne, New Jersey in 1921. This award is sponsored by the New Jersey Chinese American Chamber of Commerce. Our mission uh, has three focuses. One is to help promote businesses among our members. Secondly is to help our members to enter the mainstream of the American economy. Uh, and number three is to help to facilitate U.S. and China trade. We sponsored the Young Entrepreneur Award and we feel this award is vitally important. Um, we, our membership at the New Jersey Chinese Chamber of Commerce is open to students. And our goal is to help those young folks to get started in their businesses. So we feel it's a vitally important part of our mission. The Ida Rosenthal Young Entrepreneur Award is awarded to Adina Bayo, owner of Irvington International House of Pancakes. My name is Adina Bayo. I am an urban developer and I am the owner of the Irvington IHOP in Irvington. Well, my journey to America has been really, really interesting because I came to this country because there was a war going on in my country, Liberia, West Africa, Liberia. It took me about a good three to five years to actually go through the whole process and actually open my restaurant. I started off by formulating the business plan. I started off by talking to people that I felt that could help me bring this uh, dream of idea to light. Um, working at IHOPs, working at fast food chain to see what it's really like to open a restaurant and just really talking to people about how do I execute my business plan. Let's take the financing part of it. How do I raise capital? How do I save capital? And I think for me, my background was real estate. I bought my first real estate in this country at 22 years old. So it just so happened um, there was a real estate boom going. So I took advantage of that to raise most of the capital for the restaurant. So it's just really talking to people, tweaking my plans, and not saying this is concrete. I wanted my business to be impactful in my community. And I think now when we speak of community, you, we have to speak of community globally. Because yes, I am part of the community in Irvington, but I'm also very part of the community in Liberia as well. I'm working on um, an idea, it's, um, and I'm executing now. It's called the Market Women Fund. And ultimately, what I'm trying to do is reach back to these market women in Liberia. So right now, the program I'm working on is lining up 10 women, I call it market women, finding out what resources that I have here that they lack that can take their businesses to the next level. My advice to young entrepreneurs, especially young females entrepreneurs, is your destiny and whatever it is that you want to do really do lies in your hand. It was wonderful. Um, I am forever grateful um, to win the Ida Rosenthal Young Entrepreneur Award um, because as a young woman, um, it's always great. As a young woman entrepreneur, it's always wonderful to be recognized in your community for the work that you're doing. And it also re re reassure you that you're on the right path. <laughs>